Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris from Holy Eats. Hey, today I wanted to tell you something about myself that I have never talked about, and that is I am a die-hard Halo fan. I won't even play Call of Duty because of it. I've got all the games, I've got a wicked sweatshirt, plus I got a special edition Xbox 360 that doesn't even work anymore, but I keep it around because that's how die-hard I am. So this week, I'm actually gonna take a stab at my favorite video game, or at least the first in a series of video games. So Halo came out about 15 years ago, and it's actually one of the most popular gaming franchises out there today. So the game is famous for a lot of different reasons, and one of those reasons is the multiplayer, because you get to talk trash to some of your best friends as you mercilessly pound them with futuristic weapons. But personally, if you ask me, the best thing about Halo, the thing that makes it legendary is the story. If you've never played this game before, here's what you need to know. Halo is basically about a futuristic war between the humans and this advanced group of aliens called the Covenant. Now in the story, they discover an ancient artifact called Halo. Now nobody knows what Halo is, so the game in many ways ends up being as much a race to discover the truth as well as a fight against destruction. Which brings me to the main characters. Now the story centers around the Master Chief, aka Spartan 117. Now you need to remember this number because it's going to come up again. It's not just in the Halo series, it's in other things too. So this guy is basically a super soldier. I mean, he's the guy that the military calls when things get nasty. Anyway, the Chief travels all over the place fighting the Covenant, but he doesn't do it alone. His suit is connected to an AI called Cortana, and she practically runs the military's forces. Now when she's with the Chief, she basically solves all the technical problems and she guides him through all the chaos and mayhem. Together, they're a very, very hard combo to beat. So I want to take a minute and discuss why the Master Chief is important in terms of the Bible. Now the Chief's real name is John. Now there's more than one John in the Bible, but the Chief specifically is a representative of John the Baptist. Now John was a prophet, and Jesus tells us that he is the Elijah who was to come. Now that's important because Jesus says Elijah will come and restore all things. So the name John carries a lot of weight, and we'll see how the Chief represents as we move through the series and tie in some stuff outside of Halo. Okay, so back to the story. So the Chief and Cortana are actually on board a ship that's shot down by the Covenant, those dirty aliens we were talking about earlier. And then afterwards, the Chief is tasked with protecting Cortana. So after being shot down, they rescue some survivors and some captives, and then they meet up with the captain where they get some serious intel on a mysterious object called Halo. While the Covenant had us locked up in here, I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. They call it Halo. One moment, sir. Accessing the Covenant Battle Net. According to the data in their networks, the ring has some kind of deep religious significance. If I'm analyzing this correctly, they believe that Halo is some kind of weapon, one with vast, unimaginable power. When the humans find out about Halo, they're like, what? It's a weapon? It's got crazy powers? Aw, oh, snap, them alien suckers is going down. So they take a few trips trying to find out what Halo actually is, and everywhere the Chief goes, he whoops aliens like it's his job. It's like a non-stop onslaught of alien beatings. So after a lot of work and a lot of searching, they hit the jackpot on Halo Wisdom. So, what sort of weapon is it? What are you talking about? Let's stay focused. Halo, how do we use it against the Covenant? This ring isn't a cudgel, you barbarian. It's something else. Something much more important. The Covenant were right. This ring, it's a forerunner. So we find out that the ring is actually a forerunner artifact, and we don't get a ton of information about what or who the forerunners actually are, but I can assure you that they're important, and we'll get more information as we move down the road. Forerunner built this place, what they called a fortress world, in order to... Wait. No, that can't be. Oh, those Covenant fools. They must have known. There must have been signs. Slow down. You're losing me. The Covenant found something, buried in this ring, something horrible, and now they're afraid. Something buried? Where? The Captain! We've got to stop the Captain! Now, Cortana actually says something spooky that we want to come back to. She says that the Covenant found something buried on Halo that they're afraid of. Now, the Chief has no idea what it is, but he's sent there anyway. So when the Master Chief arrives at his next destination and finds the squad that he's looking for, unfortunately, most of them are dead. And soon after, he finds out why. Ah, hold still! Out. Hold Get still! Out. Let him have it! Ah. Sergeant, we're surrounded! God damn it, Jacob! Fire your weapon! There are too many, Sergeant! Don't even think about it, Marine! What is it, Rufo? Get back here, Marine! That's an order! 
Those nasty things are called the flood. They're a parasite that eats anything organic and everything they feed on turns into a zombie-like creature. Now after the flood gets involved, things get really scary. I mean, the music is really creepy, and every time you turn the corner, there's a disgusting body standing there. It's enough to give you bad dreams. Now if you remember, in Mark 9, 48, Jesus mentions worms that do not die. And that's what I think of when I see the flood. Now in the midst of escaping from the flood, the chief runs into one of the most aggravating, but no less important characters in the game, 343 Guilty Spark. Now after they're properly introduced, the chief spends a great deal of time following 343 through this place called the library looking for a key that activates Halo. Now as you probably suspected, the Flood are in the library and they chase you everywhere. The frustrating thing about this is that Guilty Spark periodically leaves you at closed doors to fight the Flood while he tries to get the doors open. But rest assured, you do get the key you so desperately need to activate Halo. This is where things get really interesting between the chief and Spark. So you have the key and you're ready to use it to activate Halo and wipe out the Flood, but then you find out that somebody hasn't been giving you all the details. The Flood is spreading. If we activate Halo's defenses, we can wipe them out. You have no idea how this ring works, do you? Why the Forerunners built it? Halo doesn't kill Flood, it kills their food. Humans, Covenant, whatever. We're all equally edible. The only way to stop the Flood is to starve them to death. And that's exactly what Halo is designed to do. Wipe the galaxy clean of all sentient life. So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're telling me that Halo gets rid of the Flood by getting rid of all life, including humans? Is it true? More or less. Technically, this installation pulse has a maximum effective radius of 25,000 light years. But once the others follow suit, this galaxy will be quite devoid of life or at least any life with sufficient biomass to sustain the flood. But you already knew that. I mean, how could you? Left out that little detail, did he? This is where Cortana and the Chief throw up the deuces like, I'm out. Now Spark is committing some serious felonies here. On the count of deception and misuse of knowledge, we find him guilty. On the counts of plotting, scheming, and just plain being up to no good, we find him guilty. And technically he doesn't destroy anything, but he's guilty of an attempt to destroy all life. My point is, 343 represents the devil. Now that probably isn't that much of a surprise, considering his name is Guilty Spark. The rest of your time playing the Master Chief is spent trying to escape from Halo, not to mention keep Guilty Spark's grubby mittens off the activation key. Now after some skillful driving in a race against time, the Chief boards the last jet in a flood-infested hangar to escape an impending explosion. It's epic. So now that you've made it off of Halo, you've been armed with the truth. Now you know about the Flood, and you know what Halo really is. The fight is not over. So Cortana and the Chief have put in some serious work in this game, and they've uncovered secrets that infect the entire universe. So in order for us to get the full story, you already know what that means, so you can expect a video on Halo 2 in the near future. Well that's it for Halo for now, I'm glad you tuned in. Uh, these games have tons of mysteries, and we're just getting started. Now if I can ask you to do one thing, keep 117 fresh in your mind and remember that he represents John the Baptist. Now aside from all that, if you like this video and you want to see more, like my Facebook page and subscribe on YouTube. Other than that, I'll catch you guys next time, so thanks again for watching and until next time, keep Christ first.